Do you want to catch ourselves the emergency? Uh, hi, uh, I think my mom is in labor. She followed all of my instructions to a T um, and did an amazing job. And then that's when she had the baby. Fire and ambulance at her. Is the emergency? Uh, hi. Uh, I think my mom is in labor. Mama, they said lay on your back in the center of the bed or on the floor. She said she can't lay down. Do you need help? It's okay, Mama. It's okay. Okay, I understand that. We're gonna, I'm going to help you deliver the baby, okay? <laughs> All right, what is your name? A miracle. I feel her stomach moving. Mama, thank you. We need to get you down there. I think her water broke. She's coming. She's coming. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Let Mama lay down. Let, no. Lay down. Lay down. She's there. She's poking out. Is the baby all the way out? Yeah. Is the baby breathing? Yeah, she's breathing. She, okay. I think she's crying now. Okay. All right. You're doing, you okay? you're doing a really good job. I was scared. She was in a lot of pain and I felt bad so I wanted to help her. I learned pretty quick that we had a serious situation. Um, we have a set of protocols that we follow and she followed all of my instructions to a T um, and did an amazing job and a few minutes later we had a, another baby girl in the house. Wonderful job, so we're so proud of you. Just picked baby up first thing, wrapped her in a blanket, yelled happy birthday. It was good. We love seeing good outcomes for families and stuff like that. We do see a lot of bad things, but um, one of these special moments is the best. This is what we do it for. She even asked me if she could help me. Like, if you don't want to lay down, I can help you lay down. So I, I really appreciate it, but I couldn't get down there until it was actually time to, like, deliver the baby. It was definitely a miracle because once I had the baby and she came out, I couldn't really like grab her or pick her up or nothing. So then a miracle came and she was trying to wrap her up in a towel. She kind of rubbed her back a little bit so she can cry. So she was real helpful. I am very thankful. She's really cute. She doesn't cry a lot. And I get to hold her a lot. Eight-year-old sister Jasmine was home with her mom, Crystal Garcia, when she went into labor. Mm -hmm. Jasmine called 911 as her mom laid screaming on the floor of their bathroom. If she wasn't there to call 911, there's no way I would have made it to that phone. I don't know what I would have done. Are you having contractions? Yes, very like bad. I saw the baby's head. Dispatcher Emily Hall knew she had a doozy. When her mom would scream, she would scream with her. On speakerphone, Emily gave Jasmine instructions. Can you get some dry towel? And kept mom calm. I want you to get in a comfortable position, preferably on your back. Paramedics rushed to the house, but baby JJ didn't want to wait. Labor only lasted six minutes. I want you to place the palm of your hand. Oh, it's coming out. The baby come out. The baby's out. The baby's out, Jasmine. I have to, like, get towels and support his head. 
I was freaking out the whole time just because she said that he was out, but I didn't hear anything, which I didn't know that you don't, until they get the stuff out of the mouth, you know, they don't really cry, but I'm just hearing silence. I thought I was giving birth to a dead baby. It wasn't crying yet, and I just, I said my little prayer at that point. Paramedics arrived and found mom, baby, and big sister all doing well. You did an amazing job helping to deliver your baby brother. Jasmine got a certificate from the hospital nurses. She definitely stayed calm when she needed to, especially I was hysterical. Dispatcher Emily Hall had this to say about Jasmine. Awesome. Just awesome.